What's up, crew? Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. Sorry about the misspelling. Tyler will fix it for the yeah, next sorry episode. Sorry about that, guys. That's, sorry on, about that's the on me personally. Yeah, but good to see everybody. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Comic Convos wow. episode 19, guys. Welcome in. My name is Leo Rydell, and this is Axel Grave, and we Hi. are Comic Convos, guys. And we're here to talk about movies, TV, comics, all kinds of stuff, you know, gaming. Oh. We dip into everything heavy. Everything. And it's all about the comics, guys. Comics. Comics. This like, week. We, this week. Ooh, The Flash. Flash, guys. The Flash. Which... Episode 23, The Conclusion. The Conclusioning. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Though. Oh, my goodness. The, the last episode of the season. Thousand to go, and definitely, Nicholas Barrett. Yeah, hey thanks. guys. Thanks for so coming, welcome, Nick. Welcome, so, I everyone. guess our first thing is who has and has not seen. The oh, Flash, the Flash. Who's, who's up to date? Who's up to date? That way we not. know we so we're not we spoiling. Spoil yeah, that way, exactly. We can go a couple I mean? episodes back if possible. Probably. You know? I say a month, so three, yeah, four episodes. Three or four episodes back. That's, be that's, perfect. that's pretty good. Um, Lightning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you saw some of my video. Thank oh. you. I'm sorry it's so long and boring, Susie. It's a really good video, uh, uh, and it's a really good game. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, Leo Justice knows. Yeah. Have you finished the story mode? Oh yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. man. It's I finished easy. the Batman and the Superman one. It's, it takes about five hours, maybe. Yeah, it's not that, that hard. It's not that hard, guys. It's about five hours of gameplay, but it's awesome. Yeah, like it's very good gameplay. I love the combos in this game. It mirrors Injustice One a lot, oh, but there are a lot of new, fresh characters, fresh templates, and a fresh storyline. Oh man, that's right, Susie that's and Mike. Your arrow say finale. talk about the oh, season yeah. finale, which Ooh, Susie has told us great. about favorite character on Injustice Two so far. Go ahead, Axel. I'll let you go first. I like Cheetah a lot right now, Cheetah? but only because ah. I played a ton of her when I was. If you watched one of the videos, <laughs> I was doing the multiverse, mm -hmm. but it was early multiverse, so I have a level one Cheetah. And I oh yeah, to take I did on have a level, a level one. <laughs> and so I took on a level fifteen event. Nice. And I was so glad I couldn't. I couldn't beat the last guy. I had to cave out, but I beat both of the guys on the way to the top. Nice with, with man. the level one Impressive. cheetah. Impressive. And then the, I had a level two cheetah for the third one, but that's it was basically green how arrow. it went for Dinah with me. And that's my favorite character actually is uh, Black Canary. Oh yeah, she's uh, super very nice. good combos, good throws. Like oh, I yeah. like characters that have great throws and great parries and stuff. And I was like, okay. The, this is I will say though the the. The, and that was the thing though too. is the longer you play the one character so because we spent so long playing Cheetah, Cheetah. now I can like bounce people up mm -hmm. two or three times and throw the combo exactly up. you can juggle and yeah, yeah. you can break combos that's the so point. Atrocitus for the win what's up fellas nice. how are you hey how's it going what's the zone is rage worthy oh man Deadpool so broken but not in game still so broken still though broken. favorite yeah. Favorite character, least favorite or least favorite to fight against. I hate fighting against Cyborg. Cyborg. I, that I, tackle. Well, I, I don't like fighting against Cyborg. I don't like fighting against Supes that much. I can, I uh, can deal Supes, with Supes. I can beat sucks. him, but he's, he's You know just... who's worse than Supes? Supergirl. Yeah. Because oh, of the, the flying, the, the vortex. The round yeah. and the vortex. And, and if, you, it's a hard... Have you played Dark Side? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I copped, well, I copped down and got the super expensive version nice. and copped down and got Dark Side because nice. I was dumb and didn't yeah, pre order. That's sick, dude. Always pre order, guys. Don't pre order, though, because then you're too broke to have for the game. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas, and everybody for joining. Adrian yeah, Toka, thanks, Howie Eddins. Thank oh, you. and Super Girl is pretty the dope. Now. Yeah, I see Deadshot was a bit effed up. He's pretty good, too. Dark Side's pretty, uh, Dark Side's pretty, awesome. pretty hard to fight against. I don't like fading against Brainiac, but only Brainiac the, story and the story mode. Yeah, he took out so much damage dude, with that throw. What, so what dude. level did you go through on the story mode? Huh? Like what level did I... For the difficulty, because you can adjust your difficulty. Oh, I went through hard. I, I think the nice. hardest one is I went through hard, and then I... No, oh, God, hard is so hard. Dude, I went and tried very hard at first. I couldn't go through. I got stuck on like... That's things. exactly what I did the first like two normal matches. I was like, let me try very hard and oh, try yeah. to see if I... Nope, it didn't work out too well at all. Especially after those first two, I was like, I'm screwed, dude. Oh, yeah. And then the combos uh, that these computers lay out, just the AI oh, yeah. dude, in this game uh, is very well, intelligent. Well, and then, well, like I said, the, the, the multiverse is, like I said, even harsher because those level differences are even worse. Yeah. Because the damage dealt is different because you can level in that game. Anyway, and the levels can my be very, level very high. 20, before I even started playing, oh, I'm sorry, I don't AJ, like fighting that Brainiac. Nope. Very, very hard, hard Axel. Axel. Blah. Yeah, I seen Deadshot was a bit effed up. Yep. Oh, and Supergirl's pretty dope. Yeah, I like Supergirl too. But man, that Vortex used 
spammingly can do some good damage. Well, the cool thing about is Injustice <laughs> is that it offers the escape system for the amount of juggling. So as long as you learn all the combos and stuff, I thought it was a pretty balanced game. Like every it is. time I, I mean, fought, every, it was you have an equal advantage too. I mean, I yeah. The only, like I said, the only wise. thing that would get unbalanced is those level Levels, differences. Yeah. So you definitely get one character up to twenty, and then we're. I did my about first go ones. through on medium. Got to get better on my combos. The AI of this game. Yeah, the AI is the AI so is pretty good. good. Yeah. And the fact that these characters recognize each other and have dialogue uh, with each other. That was uh, awesome. Dude. I, I do like that. So good. I do like that. Although some of the the dialogue was a little disappointing. A little disappointing. Some of it. Oh, not Damien. All of it. Some of it was really oh, unpleasant. Damien, well, dude. more like I was just <sighs> so upset with this character. I was like. This is this is really forced right here. Yeah, there like, was I, what I do like, like though for the story, not giving away any plot line. A lot of the characters I felt like were more at, accurately displayed. Definitely, because I feel like Barry would be doing the great. Those game. graphics are on point. Tyler asked, "What console do you guys play?" PS4, on? Xbox, Xbox One. One. So we got all of it. I'm, I was thinking about because I think they have it on PC too. I was thinking about picking up the PC version eventually because I have yeah, to do dude, everything do for the stupid ass gaming channel, even though we get no views. Sad face. Gaming channel. Hi, Superman. Lachlan Quintana or Superman Scream. Jesus. Yeah, Superman geez. Team Superman for team Life. For life. Oh. Superman, the thing about Superman for me is like if you start the AI starts laying into you on hard, it just keeps going. There's just no escaping Superman. If he's if he's on very hard, oh you're screwed. Yeah. So screwed. Wait, so there are even... a couple people I can actually fight on very hard, and it'll be like Ollie is one of the characters. Yeah, he's pretty fight. simple. Um not Black Canary, no. Um, not on very hard for me. Catwoman, if you can kind of get her in the corner, she's an easy one to beat on very hard. Um, I think it also depends on who you're using. Yeah, who you're using too, because I have to use my favorite character, which would be Black Canary, of course. Her combos are just flawless. Oh, we me. got 15 live viewers. Thank wow, you guys. Thank Why you guys are you so much? wearing a flash shirt? No, I think she means why aren't you oh, wearing a flash shirt? Sorry, yeah, we uh just kind of. I don't up. have one. And I, I don't have one either. Uh, what do you think of my man, Gorilla Strength Broad? for the win. So Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla Broad is awesome, dude. Strength Holy items crap. or defense items? I've been so far uh, liking uh, strength items, but it's because I like to do combos. Defense, and I actually like to have a little bit of defense to back back up my combos and juggles. So then I can beat people like Dinah who have light HP and light defense in the first place. Uh, Um, let's see. What do you think of my man Gorilla Grodd? I like Grodd, but Grodd, uh, Grodd is kind of slow. He is kind of slow, but if you get hit, if you get them in a couple of those combos, the thing that is, he has, I think that's really all good. about it. Like all the characters felt really in. balanced. Yeah, they do. But you have to know how to play them, and some characters are more complex, a or this more way, complex or that mean. way. I do like that the rating system also shows you like kind of their strength and stuff that's not that's, that they didn't have. Yeah, it's and they, are, they don't start out as balanced characters in the first place. Sorry about that, guys. I was what pointing to point somebody at? who opened the door to close the door. <laughs> Go away, Go TJ. Go away, TJ. <laughs> are you guys getting good at selling your gear yet? I haven't sold any yet. Uh, yeah, I'm just starting to, like, sell out the stuff that really doesn't help my character in the play style that I like. Yeah. Um, I'm just like, eh, some of the very, very heavy, like, AGI or or ability actually rather I'm like I don't really need the ability points um the strength and the defense points are pretty important I think um but the ability ones and depending on the character I would increase ability points for like maybe black lightning yeah or, or excuse me black adam yeah yeah that's I know who you like, meant. Yeah, I know who you meant. Because the lightning bolt. Oh, yeah. yeah but Which, Black by Adam the way, Adam his Latin. portrayal was super great. Yeah. Yes. I really it. liked it. Like, everyone in this game, except and his dialogue is for, great. Yeah, everyone in this game is portrayed pretty well, except for, like, one or two characters. Still, I think Diana doing all this is just kind of like, uh, like, come on. She's st it, she even said it. Supergirl she's said it. Though. She's like, you stand for truth and justice. And she's acting this way over s having a crush on soups. Yeah. Like, seriously. <sighs> but yeah, dude. It's just... But going back to the Flash a little bit, I guess backing off of Injustice a little. Who saw the episode 23? Wait. I know. I saw that about Static Shot. Israel, I saw that they Ooh, said they I'm, had I'm Static waiting, Shot uh, ready to go for this and that they didn't. Can wait, hold on. Is he going to be a DLC later, though? Okay, wait. 
Can we get into the flash finale? Yes, we can. We yes. were, we're honestly, we wait for you guys to lead the conversation. Yeah, you uh, guys we, lead the convo if we want to talk about injustice. But uh, the finale was pretty, I guess, some people liked it, some didn't, as with everything. I felt like it should have had the dramaticism that the last episode yes, had. Yes, we so we about talked this. about it like it was a good episode, but I felt like it would have been a better episode combined, combined with the last, with the last one. Because there was just that dramatic thing that happened in the last one. And then you have this thing that happens in this one, and it's like, eh. I don't know. Yes, yeah, you guys DLC, have to watch it. I heard. Yeah. DLC. Oh, okay. Well, nice. that, that, that means I'll get him. So he's probably part of that nine person package you can get as part of the ultimate package uh, at the Flash. I didn't love it. My mom cried. I was disappointed. El Arrow finale was so much better. Yeah, I heard the Arrow I heard finale. I heard the Arrow finale really is good. on point. Guys, it's really hard for us to catch up on I didn't Arrow. Really we're so behind. It's, yeah, we're so it's far so behind. Hard. I mean, if anybody, please, if anybody has like a no uh, no filler guide, like some episodes that you can just kind of chop through. Like, the, through like for something. example, you know, maybe in this last, just to give an example of episodes you could chop through, like this last season, the Flash's musical episode. Which oh, yeah. Was Seriously, non that was... Oh man, I know uh, Susie liked it. Maybe it's, it's alright, DH. I've been saying I was going to catch up with Flash and only did it a couple Flash weeks ago. is good though. I mean, it, it keeps you tied in. I called the thing that happened at the beginning nice. Good nice. job, Susie. Good job. Yeah. I like that's did. a good way to, to not give away a spoiler. It's like I called, called the thing it. that yeah, happened. Yeah, right? Oh, if we were doing Flash finale, thoughts on them hinting Godspeed? They did have a I, speed for Storm. I hope they don't bring him in. I don't think they're going to do anything from the new stuff, especially no. because of how much people have been talking about DeVoe now, that even if they hadn't planned DeVoe, but that's sure with all the people in planning. It. Yeah. Yeah, he's at least coming up. The thing is, why would they mention him twice? It's one of those, uh, I think that's it's one of those Chekhov's guns. Yeah, like, why would you mention why DeVoe? Why would you keep on mentioning him? Because that's all, that's the only other villain they mention. Throughout the entire series, and besides the, cool the one little he's Easter egg, the, the, the cheetah Easter egg was cool. That was pretty. Cool, I like yeah. the little Easter drops. Uh, next season is going to be awesome, I think. So I agree. I knew who it was going to be. I thought that that I don't know. Yeah. I thought that saw it coming, but at the same time, I hoped not. I wanted Iris to be dead, honestly. Not personally, like I would have been devastated, but as a storyteller, you dropped it. <laughs> yeah, but as a storyteller. That would have been such, such a great motivation. Yeah, it would have. And then to like maybe somehow change, I don't know, to once again do something back. Like, I called it, if you remember, Leo. Yeah, you did, Sai. You definitely did, man. I was hoping to see him be more apparent in the finale, though. The end especially. Yeah, the end especially. Yeah, he uh, did. Yeah. He did. He talked about it. Sai so talked about it in the Flash com in the Flash TV show group he runs. Uh, totally didn't see what happened at the end coming. Mind blown. But they need to be married. Exactly. Ah. I mean, we have to get Bart Allen. They made the reference. They He's like, tons call of me Bart. I'm like, all right. And then yeah, other and Thawne still and... exists in yep. Legends. So, so time like 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 blah 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 said a couple episodes ago. Because how many episodes was the reveal now? Three or Three. four? Is that enough? Is no. That enough was it reveal? last? Was it last? Week? No, no, it last was the one before week. last. Because last week he like met up with him again right but even before that they uh, you had the week with the blah 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 head oh yeah the yeah where he where he's like so oh we're gonna erase stuff. your memories right oh yeah. okay yeah uh, so it's about three or four back now is he going to be back for the mode <laughs> the mode we need bart dude Did you, you not you finish can't. legends no nah, you have to crash the mode up. yo crash the crash mode the mode did you finish legends no i'm not even caught up i wish is we're not good? caught up on legends Savitar Savitar reveal. Reveal. Okay, so that's not it's three quite episodes ago. Enough. Okay, yeah. When, when was, was Bart again? But the Hazion Hazion episodes. episodes. Uh, the one before last? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it was the one The relationship last. doesn't annoy me. It's the shippers that only care for the relationships and not the stories. Agreed. Agreed. And that's yeah. why I kind of wanted it to die because it's like, all right. It would be a dramatic change of events. Exactly. It'd be huge shift uh, towards something else and maybe even an ability to like for that, ah, uh, that show is too to good Reaper. though. They they just they can't kill off. Of right, but now like what that. are they gonna do? Bot that's armor. not like now what? Uh, at least we're hoping to get a non speedster for the next main villain. Right? Yeah, that's can that's we talk ideal. about next season? Because a little bit more? dude, we've had speedsters this whole time. I think everyone Zoom, is reacting thawing. to my wanting Iris dead. <laughs> oh yeah, the mad face. Uh, we got we have what Zoom Thon Savitar. It's like. How many speedsters are you going to mash not, in Not there only until... that, why is everyone faster than Barry, Barry including yeah. everyone? Wally, I mean, geez. Probably Jesse, who knows right. if they ever <laughs> actually go at it. It's He's like, so come small, on. It seems. Come on, he was the fastest man alive. What's going on? 
damn it, guys, you need to finish that to ensure you know the whole speedster history of the current universe. We'll get Cheetah. there. If only it was better. <laughs> yeah, there's a cheetah Easter egg, like, in one of the scenes in uh, Star Labs. It zooms in on, like, this little camera thing or, like, some little picture that says cheetah on it. I was like, oh, okay. Cool little Easter egg drop. But, yeah, I wonder if that... I mean, hey, they could just easily be like, go see Wonder Woman. Da, da, da. Now, that's what I'd like to see because we heard officially from... Uh, who was it? Was it Kevin... Page that the, the Marvel, Marvel shows cin- yeah and the cinema. cinematic universe yeah, will cross over. over. They are go- that is gonna happen. That's 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 what he said. Yep, and, and, and they've and been he really says it good. Goes. Yeah, like they've been really good about making keeping their promises over a moment. They have. Oh, that's all right, Mikey. Welcome back. Welcome Hi, back, Jasmine. Man. Thank you. It's been very similar for the Flash th- these three seasons: speedster, villain, and death at the end. I am not getting everyone's really comments. They Easter egged that. Yeah, they Easter egged the cheetah thing. Yeah, they definitely did. Any other cameos in that movie, you think? So Marvel and DC. So let's talk about Black Adam real quick. Like, when is he going to pop up? Because it actually said he might pop up before Shazam. Which, as we know, Shazam is going to come out in 2019. So he very well might pop up in either Wonder Woman or Justice League. And people are really spectating that he might just pop up in Justice League at the end or something. Let's see. Uh, so I think that's one cameo. Um, it's a stretch. It's a long shot. Maybe Nova will pop up in Marvel. I doubt it where they're going right now, but it, maybe at some point he'll pop up in Marvel. Um, it seems like we're going to see a new line, though, of of the MCU. Like, after Avengers, we're going to have to see some more characters in their development lines. Like, we don't want to keep going with it's it's like it's like we said, Axel. It's like, do you want to really keep going with the same characters and again and again and again and again and so, again until so they're long. until they're played out for the billionth, millionth, trillionth time? Like, how many ep- movies do we allot a character or a series or a franchise or even a universe? Like, when's enough enough for the Marvel exactly. Cinematic Universe? When, when is it enough? When is and, it? Time and to, to be honest, out? luckily there's so many characters and so many genres and so many different ways to tell stories that you could probably have hundred maybe even hundreds of years of stories but Mm -hmm. all things have an end and you don't want to be like every sitcom ever created in your 11th seasons just keep post like yes people will keep watching but it hasn't been any good since like five (laughs) seasons ago (laughs) never enough all right, that's true. Let's Never see, enough. We got some comments to I think they'll go for a Secret Wars storyline. Thon will always be back. He's been in every season. The Flash is greatest enemy. I love that concept. I do like. I that. love that too. But just and that's keep very, them popping up. That's very not. thematic with the comics too. It is. But you, the way the they do it has got to be well, and they do do it well. I hear like, he's gonna fight Soups or. Wait, who's gonna fight? Oh yeah, Black Adam. Yeah, you know, that that is I supposed to be go for the a one. secret. I want to see more line. Snart Barry interaction. I would secret appreciate Wars like a short awesome. with them, like a, a yeah, 10 a Snart minute. Barry little kind of snippet. Yeah, like even like a five minute short for like a YouTube series right? somehow, or some kind of like little end of the episode flash thing. Secret Wars, great. Your movie deals ended with a lot of actors need to focus to another character. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They do. But you have to finish Legends. We'll, we we'll will finish, finish Legends. We'll but, finish it. But <sighs> Secret Wars would be tough read an article that they should do Secret Wars. Yeah, I don't... I I, I don't think they do a, a full... Remember, Izzy, they're never going to do a an exact Th- this replica. Cool. So they would yeah. adapt it. They would adapt Secret Wars to their... They're like like they their, basically their have Thanos line. substituting for the Beyonder, the Beyonder, yeah, and pull everybody together, or it's... yeah, or even have him substitute for Galactus as the Beyonder plays or some sh- some stuff like that, and have everyone come together with the stones to fight and like yeah, this was this was another characters, but I don't think they uh, will do story. that. It's only two seasons. I I know I which is why we'll possibly catch up dip eventually. into the ultimate. Universe. I think the MCU will go away from science and into magic world more so. I agree, and I hope they do. For instance, I'd love to see and Ghost Cosmos Rider. a little bit too. Cosmic, I mean, but that's like, you know we that's got their Guardians, run. but like I, I well, would who love to see we some go with Nova. Though? Nova, uh, I, we do have the starting place. Yeah, though. we do. And it would but be what awesome story to do we Nova. tell? The problem with Nova is Nova's best moments are in 
Other context, yeah, context, or just in context, context with the big story, like the Annihilus saga, yeah, the Cancer Rift. But it, yeah, it's part of like a bigger story, right? He, his solo adventures, which are good. Don't get me wrong; I'm not knocking Nova at all. He's a great character. That's not where he's always shined, though. He's Very always true. shined when the moment came. And I mean, I do that. want some more uh, cosmic characters. Anyway, Nova though, I and Captain see that Marvel Green would Lanterns be movie. awesome, Lachlan. I'd love to see Nova and Captain Marvel. Depending on what they Ooh. do for Captain Marvel, because I don't know yes. how they're gonna they're gonna have to make it some kind of Cree Nova interaction if they do it if that way. Do, yeah, but and how we'll that involves to... her, maybe she's out in space and gets you know what I mean, caught up with the thing and gets yeah, the Yeah, exactly. And how they're gonna make it? Because in the comics, comics she gets she, a blood yeah. transfusion, right? There's something from from Was or it? she gets like an energy thing. I how thought she got like a from Captain thing Marvel. From... Let's, how does how does uh, Carol Danvers become Carol? Danvers power or oh man i think nova will be in Kevin. yeah they Favorite. could do sam nova i don't think they're gonna do sam nova richard Ryder's the more popular nova and even yeah. then they're still canceling the nova saga it's just not doing well i mean i don't know why i it i thought not, it was pretty it, decent i, I enjoyed okay, sam as nova but, but i like most i couldn't people. favorite magic users from where from anywhere from would you be great to involve Earth with the cosmos? Yes, it would, and it would make a good connection to Infinity favorite, Wars. Yeah, what what do you mean by favorite magic Creed, users, Nicholas? Do like I think I understand. I just don't know how Maybe. limited the question is. Like, are we talking Matt Marvel? Are we talking Marvel, Marvel DC, DC? Are we talking overall, anime Marvel like, DC? Because yeah. there's, there's so many, so many magic users. So like MCU, MCU magic users, uh, Doctor Strange, Strange Doctor Doom. MCU. Yep. Yeah. What? Well, mm. I like New Doom. New Doom's awesome. Oh, well, he said MCU. Oh, I think MCU. That's, yeah, yeah. That's then is the MCU, movies. dude? No, there's only one. Really, I mean, Doctor Strange. Doctor right? Strange is realistically the basic. I thought, I, it, well, Doctor Doom in the comics. Wow, I mean, that's yeah, he's awesome yeah, though now. I, oh, I'm reading it. Have you been? How you I'm caught reading. up? Yeah, they, they got the new one out. I'm not okay, so I haven't read the new ones. The yet, new one's so, so good. Doctor Fate. Like, yeah, Doctor Fate pretty good from, one DC, from DC, obviously. Yeah. Um. Actually, though, as much as I love Dr. Faye, Zatanna is my favorite. Yeah, there you go, Dr. Faye <laughs> being the more powerful of the two, oh, but Zatanna, Zatanna being is my favorite. Awesome. The, come on, backwards speaking. That's so freaking... Yeah, if we're talking like, DC, I'd definitely go for Zatanna. I like Constantine. Zatanna. Especially Const in the Justice Con League. I like Dark Constantine, awesome. but Constantine's a dick. He is. <laughs> he's such a dick. And he messes shit up I gotta go with Zatanna. Yeah. She's just She's hot, just though. Hot, though. Well, what about original Zatanna? Doctor Doom is my love. <laughs> oh God! Oh my goodness! I only love new Doctor Doom. Actually, old Doctor Doom is the perfect villain, though. Like he is perfect Ideally, monologuer. Yeah. Well, and not even really a villain, but just like he exists on his own as a side. Foe. He thinks that he's definitely the protagonist. He yeah. just exists as always, an like Constantine. Like good. I said, I like Constantine, but such a dick. Yeah, I got a message from a friend. Nice. Especially liked him in that Dark Justice am animated. Exactly. He was oh, right. awesome. He is a perfect villain. Yes, he, he is. is that with it's maybe, just like Magneto. Yeah, there's some other... Actually, the Reverse Flash, the more you learn about him, oh, he is such a dick. Yeah, Have you gotten to the Reverse Flash Rebirth? Uh, Not yet. I'm, I still I'm actually have to get but nice. yeah, I'm going to read that one too. Yeah, Flash. I've read some of it, but i got to read it. Oh. But Doom is like the ideal, like old yeah, school this infamous villain. Iron is, Man like, is awesome, dude. So good. And the thing is, I hope they don't retro Doom back. I really do. Don't. I really, really just leave him like this. Dude, like, his this character cool development. Character hey, development what's up, ever? ever? It's nice. To ever see you good again. to see you again, man. Except Batman scares death. Ah, <laughs> nice. Batman yeah, scares, everything. scares everything. Batman everyone. scares Batman. I love that they reference Doctor Doom when fighting Ultron. Yes, that's yep. like the other guy. Uh, ah, gosh, if the MCU does get uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four back, back and I would do love some stuff with it. I'd be like, but yeah. Yes. But for those who don't know, Doctor Doom in the comic books is currently like a hero now. Yep, but it's he's, so good. It's so he's the current good. Iron Man, dude. And like I said, the character progression is makes so much sense. It's like it well, really because they even ask him. I was like, why? He's like, because I got everything I ever wanted, and it wasn't yep. enough. It just wasn't enough. Latveria like, was the name really, of the village that was dropped, right? No, that was uh, Sokovia. Sokovia. Yeah. Going a bit back to the Flash, though, Deathstroke as a speedster. Just saw some articles on that. What? Um, 
I've heard about that. I think that's in the comic books, though. Yeah, Infamous um, Iron Man. Infamous yes, Iron right. Man. And, and right, Israel and Adrian. And if you've read it, I don't know if you agree, but I think the progression on him is great. amazing. I it's, thought it, I like think the it's character amazing. development is perfect. It's, yeah, it, it like really I don't know where else you would go with that. Like I said, what's his next goal? It's like, oh, I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> right now, what? <laughs> oh shoot. It's all good, bro. How do we? How do you get these powers? It's comics, but still. Uh, the speed force storm. Who knows? Oh, was he talking about Deathstroke? Yeah. Yeah, I it's guess it would speed be storm or something. Storm. Oh well, they're working with the black hole thing right now, right? Where they're already figuring out how to give people speed powers and. Sh oh, oh, I don't know how uh, caught up you. Oh, are. are you talking about in Rebirth? Yeah, yeah we're talking about in the show. No, Rebirth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know yeah, about no, in yes. the show. I know about that in, in the Rebirth. show. We're, we're kind of like, yeah, give it, we can give it to people now. How do you give sense. it? It's comics, but still, yeah, they can give it to people now. Like, there was this whole storm that they created that could give people, they gave like dozens of people so super many. speed. And at the beginning of Rebirth, a ton of people get it just from that. Yeah, like a ton, like you said, people. dozens probably. Yeah. Maybe less than that, yeah. but still. The, the Flash, Flash boy, don't, don't read. Who do you think the, the new Black, Black Flash, Flash will be? be? They need one, right? I don't know if the Black Flash goes down just because of the... I don't even know if it would happen again. I mean, things have been reversed. Here, We don't know where it's going. What is your favorite yeah, I want Flash to see him origin story? Shit out of Wally. Jeez. What do you mean... Legendary so he, I know he has a couple of origin stories, but his origin story really doesn't vary too much from the lab chemical accident. Like... Or do you mean the original Flash, like Jay Garrett, but I don't remember his origin. Oh, maybe is he thinking, like, which Flash, maybe? Like, Wally oh, West, uh, Barry Allen, like, are we talking, like, or maybe he's talking, like, comics comic versus lines, things. Or... Hey, thank you for the Did follow, really die, Alexander. Though? We appreciate it. Thanks. Did he really die? I don't think he died. You, when you go into the Speed Force, you don't you die. You don't die, you just become part yeah, of th it. Yeah, that's the other thing about Speedsters. Like, when the Speedster goes into the Speed Force, they, they're still alive still forever, alive. Yeah, it's like, they're still just existing in the the speed only force. way the speedsters die in the speed force happens in rebirth. The flash, the reverse speed the rebirth. force. No, no, no. no the, right, rebirth the, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Not rebirth now, but, but the, the rebirth. The, okay, the two thousand nine rebirth. I think so. Yeah. The flash. Like, yeah. Colon rebirth. I don't know. You finished that one? Yeah. Yeah. So you it. know the uh, who was it? It was Savitar got messed up, and then uh, who else gets? Annihilate. Jesse was Quick's dad. Um, Johnny Quick. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Quick. Quick. Johnny Gets Quick goes down. Incinerated. Yeah, which Flash? Um, Mine's is probably, probably always Barry. Yeah, it'll like, always Wally go back to that Like, Wally and them are always cool, but... But, and then, in Rebirth, they say that that created the Speed Force. Like, that... Barry's it... accident is what created it. I guess that spoiler was pointless. LL forgot you read it out. The thing is, answer. it was also was didn't really reveal too much because, like, especially it's, the especially way things ended, with how like, the comics are going here. Like, it could have been about anything, side, si, mm -hmm. but that's all right. We'll, we'll try not to read out spoiler ones. We'll man we'll stop. in the rebirth one though. This is two thousand nine, so this one is dated. When he became the Black Flash, that was Ooh, insane. Rah! It was just like, get away from me, everyone, right now. Now I have to pick him up and take him away. Oh um, man, like I said, the best part about that for me, despite every well, there's a lot of good stuff. Thawne in that s series is downright really malicious. Really crazy. Downright malicious. He tells dude. Barry that, you know, he killed his mom. But it was just a snap from there. Oh yeah, he's just like, ah, I don't know. <gasps> but the my favorite part was despite all that is the whole part with the Superman is like, I'm not gonna yeah. let <laughs> you go, Barry. He's like, Oh, you can't stop me, Clark. I've we we've raced several, several times. times. I won, won some, some of those, those races. races. Only in charities. <laughs> Those were all for charity. Dude. Clark, he's just like, blam! Yeah, gone. he was gone, dude. And it he, was like the he it, got away from him. We and, don't know in Rebirth right now, like post New Fifty Two stuff. But, oh yeah, yeah. But that does Present determine Rebirth, that. But, but that retcons everything from pre two thousand nine. And it is like, what is it like a ten year chop that got subtracted from the timeline? Oh, Didn't Wally on, explain on. that? I was like, holy crap! That's yes. how he's kid Walt or uh, kid West now. Right? Yeah, with kid Flash. Well, yes. that's how he's kid Flash right now. And then you um, have, then you Wally, have the, the other Wally, other West, Wally West, which, who is like a which we haven't seen the a lot of. No, not lately. I think they've really been neglecting him. I know. I'm I'm like, really come on, bring that. Wally back. Uh, I, I yeah. guess that spoiler was. Oh, okay. So, guys, uh, what else should we talk about as far as this? what was the whole part of the whole Flash Soup's interaction? Uh that's the Flash: colon, Rebirth from two thousand nine, a comic yeah. book. 
it was when he came back from yeah. being in the Speed Force, which like, he very, from which he was in for like twenty twenty three years yeah, or something. So like long. I was like, wow. It was at the time like so the longest. Flash is faster than Superman, right? Yes. So yeah, at defin- least right. not. Pre, because in that timeline he was, but then it's like we're in rebirth now. Yeah, so we're in a new universe. We don't know. We don't anymore. know. So Flash is faster. Yes. Do you think Flash is underrated as a superhero? Overrated? Both. Both. It depends he's, on which storyline for me. And, and it's it also a lot of times against who which, he's against. Like yeah, he's often underrated too. against certain people, like Soups and stuff, and overrated <sighs> against other people, like. And sometimes Wally is depicted kind of like weird, like in the Justice That's, League show. Well, the other thing just, is that. Characters like as strong as the Superman and the Flash have to be written very like dumb sometimes. Yeah, or, like, they have to be written the... down just so that they it's, have like it, a all right. So it's the whole it's the whole Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet thing. Thanos is invincible with the Infinity Gauntlet. So how does Thanos lose? He trips and falls over. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. Uh, that's literally how the story goes. Yep. So what else are you gonna do? Uh, like the whole thing that was also tied to Final Crisis, the Dark Seed anti life equation story. Yes, yep. which was also a whole thing that boosts Dark Side to this power level that we don't even understand either. Yeah, no that's the idea. Other thing. That's the other thing. When he gets that, then people fight him, which totally defies the whole thing of the anti life oh, equation. It's like, wait a minute, I thought that was supposed to mean that everyone did what Dark Side said regardless. But then there were still people. There's just so many different, like. Definitely underrated animals. But yeah, that's it's it's both sides because there's certain things like yes he can beat so and so and yes he can beat so and so but could he beat this person, this person or that not, person yeah. you know this or that could he defeat? It's like I don't know, man. I feel like in some iterations he's very very depicted very weak, especially sometimes Wally West can get kind of yeah. But at the down, same time, but... with Wally and and if I both, but even Wally especially can be shown as super over strong like strong, while he's yeah. been shown as several thousands of times the speed of light which is ridiculously fast. and if we dip into even all mediums like if we're talking shows the animations there's the comics, Dark, like there's... he the one v ones brainiac luther in the series like just oh, annihilates right. him before yeah. almost getting pulled into the speed force when superman was like powerless you know what i mean to beat him uh there's very very few characters that that could like theoretically but like in, that, in but... young justice he was depicted pretty well i thought like i thought he was a pretty good character wally west yeah i think he was especially for the age and type Time, style they yeah, were the... Pre- pre- depicting like and mid-80s he went in the speed type. force yeah which was a whole nother thing it's a hard one to keep consistent with flash with, with the speed he can hit when he wants so to he should technically beat anyone I think uh, Messi Barry messes with the timeline too much. Yes. You and everybody else in the R. entire universe. Yeah. Everybody he, thinks Barry messes with. Everybody has given him shit for that, and he deserves it. Like he what really. What would you change in the Flash story? Maybe some of these time warps. I don't know, man. Like, I would else. actually depower him down a bit. Yeah. Because, because like he's the a fact that he powerful. could just, and then in some in some versions he could just run back to the past and run to the future. Yeah, which is so Especially like the, in the, the show. The like, show he's so much more powerful. Like, in wow. the comic books, he can almost never travel pat like very accurately in the past and stuff without the cosmic the treadmill. treadmill. Yep. Plus, he hooks up it's with Artemis. Artemis. That one is pretty interesting. Yeah, Barry like is that. a dunce. Barry oh, well. is just, and then the problem is all of Barry's problems. To a point, stem from himself. Yes, Thawne screws his life up, but Barry makes so many bad decisions. And then he does Flashpoint. Like, and that's like, wow, look at what that did to the universe. Yeah, well, he, like, basically said, oh, my worst enemy does this all the time, and he's a supervillain. I'll do it. Well, yeah, why not? I should uh, do man, it. Man, I'll try to give it Wally a try. YJ seemed... was slow, the slowest out of the rest anyway. In Young Justice. Which is actually the only place where Wally's where slower, Wally's than, slower anybody else. than anyone else. In the yep. comic books, Wally has always like, been... They were faster than him because they were Allens or whatever. Like, but I think the next season, and it's a huge theory, that he's actually going to outrun death, and then he gets faster than Barry. I think that would be really cool to do, because... Yeah, and he saves the Earth. Uh... He the thing about the Wally, Earth. like I said, is they, they depict Wally as being... At least until New Fifty Two's revamp, even in re- at, in when he comes back in Rebirth, uh, he's Wally's really depicted as faster, faster than, than Barry. Than Barry, yep. like he legit. They talk about it as like I, and he even talks about Wally does himself. Like you know, once Barry had died for several, had been dead for several years, he let go of his inhibitions of being scared of being faster than Barry, 
and running and into the got speed faster. force. And they even talk about it. He runs in and out of the speed force several times, unlike Barry, who's yeah. only done it like and, the once And think twice. about it. He, Barry was gone for 23 years. C.W. Barry is crazy selfish. Fight fire with fire. Yeah. He just wants to save his mom and loves Iris. Yeah. He does. Sometimes but, that is a little but bit simple. But you got to, like, think about all the people who, A, died, or B, didn't exist anymore because, because of Flashpoint. Because of the Flashpoint, yeah. Uh, and What's then the there's name? another Fire there's from... another person that exists now, another Wally. Here we are again with because it's like all these time trips. And that's the and this well, yeah, a lot of it is Barry's fault. Like this whole last season technically wouldn't have happened without Rebirth. Yep. Or without uh, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Yeah, yeah. No, hey guys, right. my He's... friend James is here. Hi What's up, James. James. Welcome Yay! to the thing. Yes. Yes. James man. Kitchen. Hey. What's up, James? And so, the problem with next season, so we talked about, that's one thing we didn't get to. What do you guys want to see next season? Who's the focus? What's the plot line? Who's the villain? What do we Is want to see? And, and here's something I saw a media, uh, of an article on, I think you probably saw it or posted it. Uh, the Flash has gone through something like 30 plus villains already. Yeah, is oh, that the, too the total fast? of the TV? Now, don't, yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. He has a ton of villains, and there's a never-ending supply of supervillains from comics, but is that too fast? Are we not giving these villains enough depth and impact on the show? And, you know, it's like, I, I like... I kind of like what they do with Gorilla Glass. Flash they have him in several episodes. Kid Flash, and they, though. They, uh, I mean, it also gave us him. Killer Frost, too, though. But yeah, I like this touch of, like, I like some of these villains saying, to touch you know, in every down. now and then. You know what I mean? I like What to do have, we uh, want to see next stuff. season? What do you uh, want to see next season, apparently? Devol. I think I want to see. I Here's my thing. I don't really mind. Just don't make it be a speedster. Just no speedsters. I, I'm done with that. So I I'm think the way DeVoe is really going to be the great power against really? Barry is if DeVoe can do the mind control trick really well, yeah, exactly. better than Grodd. If he can do the multiple people, multiple control, Manipulate multiple people, you know, and, and, and more importantly, if his tech is so advanced that Cisco can't counter him, Yep. which is the really thing is if they can't, if he, counter he has to just be so powerful. I want to see a non-speed. And villain, so, for if sure. he does that in conjunction with like A Barry's friends, B Barry's enemies, and C normal people, I think that is enough to keep him. It's like, all right, so the contingency plan is this: I have a family, okay, but then I have a normal civilian. Exactly. Yeah, okay, you know what I mean? I want the Vo to be this smart villain that has Barry on the edge, like no other intelligent person. Has. Because it has to be that way. That's, I mean, that's just what every villain the, starts out as. So you know? the thing they, is, they we talk about it. The, the Flash is too fast. The time travel thing is too good. So how can we, how can we possibly give him a threat now? We but have can to counter that. We have to have someone so clever and technologically advanced that they Devo. can, yeah, that they can outsmart him. Literally make. Crises in two, three places that he can't counter with time remnants, mm -hmm. or you know something like that. Speedsters are overdone. What about King Shark? Ah, uh, King Shark. Uh, he, the thing he, is, the he, he's kind of not a. Here's the other thing. I don't anyway. like how they depict man. A, a a lot of the physics in the last season were a lot of hard for me to like because it was not accurate, accurate. to real to what yeah. e, to what even theoretical super physics science. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I really like about this show is they're very good about their theoretical super they science are. stuff. Yeah, they are. And it's like, oh, this could work this way. It's Googling. Who do you think is better, Felicity or Cisco? I seen uh, Cisco. I've seen a theory where next season Barry comes out of Speed Force in 2024 and we see that paper being written. But obviously it couldn't happen with the timeline of Arrow and the rest. Well, well, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. We, we, we assume not, but you know the way the time works in these shows... I I think uh, the way they go is like Cisco is an is a very good better inventor and then Felicity is the computer yeah, programming Yeah, I can genius. agree with that. That's where I would see say it, and not to say they don't have uh, skills in both areas. Both areas, and, but, but they have strengths, and you know they each have their strengths, and those are those. Right. Uh, and King so Shark yeah, but for the but for the whole Devo thing, that's how I would hope Devo fights him in a, in a way that just is so powerful that it's going to be an extreme or maybe like even Barry. controlling berries in ways that he doesn't understand. Like he can't remember maybe mm -hmm. that Devo's controlled him and Devo's done something has manipulated like his whole reality even because it's just like he changed him completely or. And it seems so normal, but he's like, what's going on? Like, something that's just so And like you said, that imagine that we get the return up. of Thawne with DeVoe. Oh, man. Please let Thawne come back. Thawne coming back would be amazing. And like I said, to be <laughs> a pawn under DeVoe where 
the where where Thawne is no longer granted Thawne is an intelligent, conniving, hurtful thing, but his number one goal is always to hurt, to Barry. hurt Barry. Never necessarily always. to kill Barry, but it, to hurt just Barry. To mess him just up to completely. really screw up his life. Duvall gets the rogues together, doesn't he? He might, but not originally. That was Captain Cold, I believe, that gets the rogues together, right? Because I don't think Rogue's part of the original rogues. Oh, maybe in the uh, Thawne, yes, that, that would be, be awesome. awesome. So that's what I want to see, basically, Loughlin, and uh, I, I believe it was Nicholas who asked that. That's what I want to see is the Duvall coming in, manipulating Barry's whole world if and it's then Barry. Thawne coming in. And here's my alternate because of the way the series ended. That's what I would have wanted to see had the And Duvall the has had two mentions. Two mentions. That's why I want like, to see it him because it, it's, it's the Chekhov's no gun, guys. Like, if you mention it, you gotta use it. Could you see Flash become really depowered for some reason or another that and have to learn to get it back? I could, that kind of is what happened in season two. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see that again. He already kind of had that happen a little bit. And the other thing is then we have two, three other Flashes now who can take his to, place. Yeah, who could just be, come up. And, so well, like, Wally is going to take his place. I know, right, right, now. right now. And that's why I said with the ending of, of the, the way it ended, I want to say that the way it's actually going to go is we follow... Wally, hopefully. For a little while. Yeah, that would be awesome. And, and I want to see a return of Abracadabra. Ooh, there I would go. love to see some <laughs> Wally Abracadabra work. Um, I want to see... Abracadabra is dope. I want Wally. to see more development of things that don't involve species. Like I said, we're at three ep- seasons in. I don't know Just, how yeah, much farther. I mean, let's let's not go too much further with the speedsters. Yeah, we it's need, kind of been a repeat. We it's need been a, so a what, recipe. So every what season. we need is people like Turtle from season two. Maybe we find someone who can replicate his serum, and suddenly the Ooh, Flash has awesome. to fight all of these inertia mm-hmm. creating things or whatever. Cold is technically dead though, so he can do it. Time, Time remnant warped. Time remnant. That's, That's a soft about. reset. Devoe is definitely coming. Be interesting to see how they integrate him into the show. Oh, for sure. That's I want more awesome. Gorilla Grodd. I want more Grodd. Grodd is, is But cool, we've done but him twice or three times now almost. Every season. Every season again. It's like, and all right, there's he's, been a cu- nice... he's had a couple episodes too, a piece. Oh, yeah. He gets two or three a season. Mm-hmm. And, and I think so, that's a good amount for Grodd. Especially considering how much... The thing I do like is the evolution of Grodd, which I'd love Definitely. to see him eventually get to the Grodd we know and love. You know, the one from Injustice 2, who's a... Uh, planning to take over the world and turn it that would be awesome see that's the ideal grod though. yeah they might be testing wally out by himself for audiences to replace grant or maybe for whatever the sign off that's the other thing i think too is how long is grant gustin going to stay on as the flash he's already stated that he's interested in doing other roles too so he's getting kind of sick of it well after a while you limit yourself as a character and, yeah, B, and you, you just play become a character to its grant extent. gustin Barry Allen, The Flash. Yeah, you know, that's, that's your it. character. Yeah. That, well, my best example of that, granted, he's been in other things and does other things, but what you always comes up, uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Forever. Yep, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Forever. Can't escape it. Do you like how the story's going, or would you change some stuff? Make Kid mm-hmm. Flash more of the main? main. Yeah, Agreed. I would like Kid Flash I like Flash the to be story, but main. yeah, that's what I think. We're switching over to the era of Kid Flash, and I think and a lot Jesse of this... Quick might come back as well, because Harry's back, Maybe. I don't know because we have the whole Flash and every need every need a Flash oh, and every yeah, universe. Yeah, because she's the two. Yeah, she's yeah. The you one have two. Earth one, two, and three, and if we have Wally now stuck and Barry not around, Jay has Jay to go has back to, go to, back to three. three. Well, she was covering two for Jay. Jay. That means oh wait, is he two? Yeah, he's two. I thought it was Jay from three, isn't he? I, I thought, thought they switched number. Three. Okay, so maybe she's it's three. Two. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. Jesse has to yeah. be in. Two. You're right. So yeah, she has to go back to two because she's in three protecting Jay's now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Sorry. M- mm. Multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if uh, Iris might accidentally be pregnant or something. That would be interesting. You know, the Bart Allen run. Yeah. Like I said, I think the next hep- the next season is going to be a lot about Wally developing and getting Barry out of the Speed Force. Yeah, he has that's, to. Because that, it was so easy. Man, the wouldn't last that be time, awesome but... seeing him in like a main role, though? I want to like, see I've him in a red suit. To see him in a red suit. I want to see yep. him in a red suit. He deserves it. He's earned it. Uh, if there was if ever, ever a time. time. Yep, it's now. I'm just saying, this is the perfect setup. I really like that scene in um, the episode. Here's the thing. Like nice are we, is anybody going to talk about the fact that we all want Kevin Smith to direct to the direct, Flash Yep, and movie? that's what Nick was saying. Could you see a Flash movie? Hopefully Kevin Smith steps up. Man. Yeah, I'm really... Well, like, he said he's ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they need to pick him. He's, he's already tra- stepped he's up. He's already said I think I've said it before, but Grant loves his dancing and music stuff, and he said he wants to do more, and him and the rest of the cast have said in multiple interviews that he works really long hours, 
and it affects him, mm. which I can understand. I mean, being the star of the show, I would understand it. And I could see he really did from the music episode, like the dancing thing. So if he wants to pursue that, there's nothing That's wrong not with wrong that. That's not wrong with that. Let's just make Wally like You know, the people don't know, but like Hugh Jackman's origins are in dance, dance and theater. And I think Hiddleston, Tom Hiddleston's. Not Hiddleston, uh, the, which, who's playing Spider-Man now? Is it Hiddleston? Is it Tom, uh, Tom Holland? Holland. Yeah, Holland. he's got a background in music. Holland has a Man, music background. I don't think we'll see Iris pregnant. Kevin Smith, yes, that would be phenomenal. Yes, yes my God, Kevin Smith, Flash. Yeah, he stepped up and said he would do it. He they would just do need it, to but we got to get him to do it. Uh, I think... Ah, uh, poor Kevin... Or, um, Poor Zack Snyder, though. Oh, I'm um, so sorry man, about his daughter. That's, that's, his daughter and then he had away, people guys. mocking him on social media. Which is which like, was... wow, he has to tend to his family. Is that really Here's necessary? the even thing. Even if he didn't want to, what business is it yours yeah, if he doesn't want to seriously. direct any movies? Fuck. You know what I mean? Screw I mean, those yeah, guys. Josh no Sweden offense to anybody, to back but him up no, one owes, no one owes you or anyone else anything as far as that goes. No one owes you another Superman movie or right, Spider-Man movie. Right, you have to movie. let it happen. I mean, yeah, if it happens, if it happens, it happens. If not, then... Ooh, new Venom, though. Yes, Tom Hardy is Tom Venom. Hardy is Venom is going to like, be the Venom. Yes, so oh my goodness, this is going to be the best Venom yet. Oh yeah. Oh man, because we all know how that Spider-Man three Venom went. Oh my goodness, I just can't Freaking get Eric Foreman. God dang it, Foreskin. <laughs> Oh That's really goodness. messed up. What they said about Snyder, I know yeah, that there are talks now since they said really he'd bad. do it. Like, I it was crap. Oh, 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 oh. We do it all right. We're good. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. And uh, Sony is gonna ruin it, but Sony's been doing all right. They been, <coughs> they're gonna do. Here's the thing. Hopefully, they partner with Marvel again. Yeah, because Spider-Man one and two were good. I mean, and I think they're, they're realizing the interconnected universe makes more money. It, it piggybacks it off the to. other titles. Yeah, and I mean, it just, it, it, just it, it flows well. But Venom isn't Venom only in his own universe. This That's one, already he's not in the MCU. He might not be connected yet. But I, even if not, if they have the Marvel co, you know what I mean, creative directors helping them, they're going to get a more connective story. That's very true. They're going to get a better. And it, it could easily move into that, just like the shows will. Hey, that, thank you that for is all the, the Venom I, I dream of. That is, it is. I really want it. I really want the Venom to be the greatest. Yeah, because that Tom Hardy... Oh, Tom Hardy is great. He was great as Bane. So great. I, I, I liked him as Bane. I liked him as uh, Mad Max. He really does a good job in his... He does a great job in his everything. roles. He, he's very versatile. And, uh, Tom I appreciate Hardy, it. Venom is a dream come true. You got that right. Thank you guys so much if for the comments If there was a DC shares, villain movie, who would you love to see? Joker. Absolutely. Solo Joker movie would be good. A solo this this Black Joker, jo the current one that we're on. I don't know about that. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I about was just that saying one. a Joker movie that was Ooh, done. Right. I, I would like a Gotham City Sirens done well. That'd be pretty dope. <sighs> I do like them, but I feel like their characters are so irredeemable. That's good. That's eh, true. I just want to wait. I just want to see the Andrew Garfield finish the fight with the Rhino. Yeah, I mean, that just happened and then it went nowhere. Well, they fired him not too long after that. Gotham City Sirens, don't you think Joker will be the, in there? He would yeah, make he appearances, will. but hopefully not be a mainstay. I wouldn't want to see a ton of Joker in Gotham City Sirens. I mean, we're going to have a Batman. Anyway, maybe you can pop up in that. As yes, well. we did hear up. about the life retroactively being a Venom prequel, but I don't know if they'll end up doing it. Um, yeah, I just don't oh. see it working as well as people think it will. Uh, I I mean, if it does, cool, but I just don't think it would work up. It hopefully as well. I like I said, I really, really do want more yeah. villain movies. I do too, cause like I mean, are we just gonna keep on telling the same side all the time? Are we you gonna know, stay? You on know the... what would be good is more kind of Ooh, dark Magneto mix. Would be... Ooh, oh, that's what great. I would do. Magneto, movie. Magneto, Doom. Movie. yes. Oh. Namor, Namor. Oh my God, he would be perfect. Oh, Namor would yeah, make the perfect. Man, one. I just, just don't mess it up. Don't give that one to Fox. I mean, yeah, that's the problem. They probably have. <laughs> Nicholas. He's thirty. Nicholas. Why did they? Where did they? Fire uh, Andrew Garfield. That's so not all. I mean, I guess he's being kind of unprofessional, but they just they the, just they, he they, was, they, they he had he a lot of things have people often get it in their head that they're essential for the role and they're not. Kevin, Namor what's over up, Magneto Kevin? agreed. Lachlan Fassbender is done. Ooh, ooh, yeah. His roles all seem to be the same to me. 
Uh, he does play a very similar very character. Very similar character in every But role. he does very Sony good. That character wants... is so expressive. He doesn't need another one. I know, it is. It's kind of, it's it's kind of like the thing. It's like, For it's example, like if he so keeps the, on the latest that, Alien amazing. Covenant, despite, the, granted the action was great, the best scenes were Andrew Fassbender interacting oh, yeah, with himself. It was. It was like, wow. Just the, the He always has such great dialogue in his scenes, man. Yes. And it's always just and His performance is always powerful. It's and, always and very, very powerful. Uh, Sony just wanted everybody to find new director and producers. Yeah, they do that a lot. And I think eventually they just wanted to partner with the MCU because the chants were heavy and they probably just... Like I said, they're, they, like, we don't they, know. they're hearing the Amazing. voice of the fans. Spider-Man 2 didn't do that great. So Michael Fassbender, my bad, yes. Don't forget Assassin's Creed. Same type of character, though. Can't argue that. Uh, man. Speaking of Alien, tell me more of what you thought. I uh, thought it was pretty decent. thought it was man. great. I, I'd I, give it a good 7-8. Eight. 8. I'm a hard 8. I'm a 7-8. Like I'm I said, I, there was a eight. lot of confusing parts where I was like, wait, what's going on from oh, here man, to the I just like one. how they looked. I like the oh, evolution. The, it, the, like the, the, everything about everything. The, uh, the actual... Well, with the except so like the female lead, I didn't like as much as the original. Ripley, I didn't like hers as that yeah, pulled me away. The thing is, she she was too Ripley timid. Was, I know. I, I was like Ripley she, was Ripley timid, was like, but by the end of the movie, Ripley man rigid up. man. Yeah, not she was up, ready. Up. She yeah. womaned up because you know she was ready to duke it out. Ass Nender. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of alien timid, yeah. Uh, but she wasn't, and then the whole. Obviously, it's also hard with the ending. I can't. Get you heard away. that? You heard that? Alien Covenant sucked. I actually heard some good oh, stuff. Oh no, no, it was great. Was so uh, good. I thought yeah. Iz Izzy went with me, and I, I, we both thought it was very good. Yeah, Judge I agree. Judge's a video Nicholas. game movie, eight mm -hmm. out of eight point five. That's pretty good. And hi, James. I uh, I would agree. I gave it a hard. She eight. was a Ripley ripoff, yes, but she was but also she was so different. So small, like I felt like she was not really involved, like Ripley was. No, she like at the, basically she only did one thing in the scene. Pretty much, um, yeah. We won't no, she had the two much. things. She had the two things, but <sighs> it was such not power, not as powerful, I guess, maybe for me. I have she never just seen wasn't my that powerful. Other so terrified. <laughs> it was pretty creepy, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was creeped out by Alien Covenant. It did a good I was job. Just like, wow, they're they're gonna. Although creep I was up more, about it, I don't know. Like, I was more creeped out by. Uh... Andrew Fassbender. <laughs> or not Andrew, but... Michael. Yeah, Michael. those were some weird scenes. Michael Fassbender. No, Michael. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, Assassin's Creed oh. was not that good. Uh, uh, I thought it was about a six, six and a half. Yeah, I heard that one was not that great. That Alien was... Covenant was good. Explores yeah. more lore. Yeah. Exactly. It made Prometheus better retroactively, really in my opinion. Yeah, very simple. They pulled a, they pulled a, a wrong so one. It was so hard to follow. It was just... It was. It was a very... tough to chew and swallow. I was like, come on, man. And deeper plots, but a, pl a lot of plot holes until the next movie. Yes, and that's what me and Izzy talked, which is why I have it as a 7 and 7 and 8, because until the next movie where they fill in a lot of the, the gaps. The holes and stuff that's going on. Yeah. Like, yeah which they they might. I mean, that's, Well, they, that's what they did in this movie, so. Very that, much if a they chance continue of it the trend, the next one. Yeah. If they continue the trend, it'll be good. Like I said, I did like the direction. It wasn't surprising. You could call the whole movie about 15 minutes ahead of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I could predict what was going to happen yep. and who was going to die even. But it doesn't take away from the great depth of it, like, oh, in, in and execution. It's very much an action flick and a, thr and a thriller, dude. you know what I mean? I love the Fassbender dialogue. It's so good. Both of them. So oh. good, like I said. Love the old school horror directing. Yes. Exactly. The pop out, good. you know, the creep, 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 creep. Pop out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the very just like. Take it close enough. Right? Don't go in there. Mitchell Flask Bender. <laughs> Mitchell Flask. Mitchell Flask Bender. <laughs> and when the and the when the world needed him most, he, he disappeared. He did. Ah, <laughs> uh, speaking of that, uh, more Avatar. We'll, we'll never. I, I just really hope we'll never go back to those movies, those Avatar movies. Yeah, I'm hoping those are dead. We're just ruining his name. I, I'll mess it up all the time. I mess the up shower names. scene. I just love how know, intense the alien was the whole time. Attacks yeah, were it was much always faster. so intense. Yes, the, the we, shower scene. Me was and, uh, the shower scene was pretty, pretty dope. great. It was a great scene. Nicholas, me, and Izzy talked about how much faster the aliens were in this one than they've ever been before. Yeah, they were. They, were just, he, they just whoosh. like jumped up on him quick, and like in the old scenes, they like running around. To be all fair, slow. we also talk about th this one. You have two different ones you've got the xenomorph and the neomorph and there's uh have graphic you guys out seen there the movie life i left did anyone notice yeah, we did I've notice that you were gone Susie. i uh i have seen life but i didn't feel like it was that heavy of the i don't know it was all right 
Oh, that alien though. I really liked. I really liked just how alien. intense it was. It was the whole time. Like you, the whole time you're just kind of like something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. I know. It's like what's next? What's next? Yeah. What's who's, next? Who's, who's next? Who's next? We were devastated that you left. Uh, oh, aren't they neomorphs? That. Yes. Well, some are, and then some they have are, and then they have xenomorphs. I think because it was the prototype, that's why it was faster. Maybe. Well, but, they yeah, but the, even the xenomorphs, the were, really xenomorphs were like. Do, 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 do. Calvin like was an slow. awesome alien. Ridley even called it a protomorph. protomorph. Yeah. Something, uh, some kind of prototype. But shoot, they were still awesome. They were really cool. I thought they were very well built. And then like the the scenes and the obviously the virtual the the effects were very good. Um. The story was pretty dark, but I, I felt like it could have been a little bit stronger. The story itself, I but... thought the reasoning went didn't go very well. But like you, like you said, it was very predictable. But it didn't take away from what the movie what was, was. Yeah, what it was, what it was about. Like you said, that, that'd be like complaining about watching, you know, a kids' show and complaining about the the, the storylines. Like no, exactly. you're not as I watch it as show. part of a marathon. I almost cried at the they, start of Flash. They then said I would have just goes to show. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. They said there were going to be at least three more movies. The next one is supposed to be between Prometheus and Covenant. Yeah, and I figure they're going to just keep filling holes, yeah. creating more, and filling them up. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I it means too. that the timeline can't go so far in the future. It's just like, geez, what's going on? Uh, Yeah. Calvin was an awesome alien. Calvin <laughs> was an awesome alien. So in addition to, you know, aliens and stuff, we've had uh, the recent release of, you know, Injustice 2, which we talked about earlier. We have an upcoming release of Destiny 2, which is going to yeah. be awesome. I know Izzy's Looks super like it's excited. Look great, man. That's awesome. And then uh, we also know that winter is coming. Uh, you know, Game, Game of, of Thrones, guys. And then the new Inhumans. Latest trailer just came out. And the new Inhumans. Yeah, they yep. got a new they snippet for that. Snippet from uh, it. Current series, oh, like Ramsey, I said, a lot of... A lot of uh, that guy that plays Ramsey, yep, the Spider Man trailer. Oh that man, the, awesome. which even more like I thought they revealed so much in the last one, and then they revealed even more. I'm like, all right, maybe they just have so much to, to reveal, to get that, through. Yeah, it's just like geez. this one was all. It's like, oh, the shield. It's like, okay, and the alien tech. It's like, okay, that's two entirely new concepts yep. that were not in the last one at all. <laughs> They're just gonna introduce a bunch of stuff. It seems like, like hopefully they just have so much that they can. What would you do want this? to see from the next? alien though uh some gap feelings not really excited for inhumans i'm hoping inhumans is gonna be great so in other news i finally saw guardians 2 about time. yes and it was great right we told you amazing we, i really can't wait for also, destiny the 2 poster sucks so finally bad. going to give us what they promised us with the first one agreed izzy and i'm gonna be right there with you i feel that half of the inhumans is gonna be weak oh no man i really hope they're gonna be all awesome uh the poster i did not play though. the inhumans game the, no, the poster the was poster trash. Bad. But I don't know why they released it. They even told us that that was from an early photo set. Like when so they released it. their costume to easily be different. We're hoping their costumes come on. Lock, Lockjaw looked awesome. Poster for Spider-Man was pretty trash. Oh, it got love... it got memes so hard. Huh? Did you see all the memes? For, for the poster, the Spider-Man poster? Yeah. <laughs> they were funny. But I, I thought Lockjaw was awesome. They gave him the antenna even. I thought that was the coolest way they did it too instead of giving him the actual antenna. Mm -hmm. That was pretty awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy was amazing. Gonna go see it again tomorrow. Yes, yes, it yes was. I feel that. Yeah, half of the humans. It's fine if you're not excited for Inhumans. I totally Teenage understand. Teenage Groot is so mean. I am, man. <laughs> Oh my god, Teenage Groot. Uh, we Everything can't... about that movie was great. Yeah, Remember, was... no spoilers, yeah, guys. No spoiling. Still been out. For, still fresh. Uh, yeah, not weeks. even a month. Not even a month. Three weeks. We gotta fresh. wait at least a month before we start talking about stuff on here. Guys. Yep. At least a month. You'll you'll catch our stuff, though, on spoiler se sessions, which we're hopefully gonna be doing uh, another one for Aliens. Spoiler sessions is coming up very, very soon. We're gonna do one for Aliens, and we're gonna be also doing ones for other things media as well yep we'll have a uh, bunch of some tv shows and all kinds Cloak of stuff. And dagger, dagger, though. though. i really liked it but we talked about how some of the graphics weren't necessarily the highest i feel like the quality of this one is not the highest but but we're hoping the acting in the the story makes up for it because yeah, it looks like is it very be, deep it has potential in other areas i understand what you're saying lachlan like they could totally ruin the inhumans on tv easily I ruin free form uh, like i said i'm already unhappy he doesn't have his mask and why is it on <sighs> Oh, right, it, oh, are you talking point. about Inhumans? Yeah, or? Inhumans. Oh, Inhumans is on what? Fox? What is Inhumans on? FX? 
that one's coming on Hulu, I think. Isn't oh, it? dude, doesn't it seem like movies have been dropping the ball lately? The bad poster for Spider Man, the broken audio for the Mummy, everything, everything about, about the, the Great Wall. I mean, but movies do that more. There's, often there's going to be think. yeah, there's going to be a lot of movies all but year. But I do bombs, agree that but... we're we're hoping that that doesn't maintain the trend. Like we're hoping yeah, Wonder Woman and, stuff... and Justice. Like I said, oh, I'm hoping Justice that Spider Man is amazing. Going. I hope Spider Man. Unless I watch well. Aliens before that spoiler episode you plan on doing, I won't guys, be attending that. Guys, that we the for... spoiler is actually a YouTube Hold video. So. Did we forget? The Spider Man is gonna have his theme played in the movie. Yeah, and it's gonna sound awesome. It's all dramatic. It's like an orchestra arrangement. Oh, With guys, Shield. I think this will be the best Spider Man yet. Ooh, the Dark Universe oh. for the monster movies. Yes, that yeah. would be great. Where for like King Kong, ABC and... With Shield. Okay, that's what uh, it's Godzilla be. and Mothra. Yeah, but yeah, Mikey, that episode of Spoiler Things is actually gonna be on the YouTube. Uh, and it'll be posted separate. It'll only be like five minutes to ten minutes yeah, long, probably. Yeah, won't be too long. Yes, I forgot about Dark Universe. Yes, it'll be so great. It'll be Hey, awesome. welcome. What's up, Alfredo? Been a long time, man. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, we're just talking about The Flash and comic books and movies and stuff. So, I don't think it's the same, though, is it? Uh, I don't know if it's in the same universe as the other one, Lachlan. I think she's talking about the Inhumans being on the same ABC channel as S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, okay. And, uh, Is that I'm in not the sure. same universe? Or... Oh, the mummy? I don't know. I didn't. I wasn't all that I'm excited. I'm not impressed. Yeah, I'm not impressed at all. There's nothing. What's the new thing? What's my new thing? I'm seeing the same thing I saw from the original mummy with better graphics, admittedly. Exactly. And so I don't what know am if I getting? Wolf fresh man. Or anything. Uh, I feel like people won't like Spider Man's AI suit. I already liked it. Like the, it's like, like you have too. 100 and blah 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 web combinations. Like, right, yeah, dude. That's awesome. that's awesome, man. That helps him out. Oh, also no, I'm going mummy to see Pirates and Godzilla. tomorrow. Godzilla. Yeah, I'm gonna give Pirates a shot. And I hope I thought Godzilla be and King okay. Kong were going together. Oh yeah, that's what more I than too. Mummy, and that's what I was talking about as well. Forget the Spider-Man theme song. I just want to hear the homeless guy sing the song from the first movie. Oh god, the the lady with the violin. Yeah, that would be the good. One. To Iron Man, Invisible, Invisible Man, Man Frankenstein. Frankenstein. That's the Dark <laughs> what? Universe. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. The other ones we just got They're sidetracked. Making a Wolf Man movie. I think Spidey is going to go against Tony Stark Wolfman. and make his own suit. I think he's going to wear his old suit. Unless Brendan Fraser. <laughs> okay. And yeah, also the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes. Reviews, Reviews are slamming pirates, pirates, sadly. Yeah. Reviews... After that third one, though. What are they doing? Yeah, they're already... They overextended <laughs> Now they have to do one about more. It. Yeah, at uh, least one more. Yeah, you got to finish a trilogy, man. Probably. Once you've done three, you have to work in more than two. And here we have... Will's Turner, he, his his son is grown and stuff. I'm like, oh, oh man, how, how well how then how is Jack? Jack then yeah, even? how yeah, is like, Jack what is still like, the same? Because he never and... got the found of use stuff, as far as I remember. I'm oh, man, not gonna lie, I got my hopes up. Well, that's a hard thing. No, I try to just come in with no expectations. He's no real. dark universe is day. the classic monster. Really, you have made my whole day. R.I.P. Shield. Rip Shield. <laughs> Bye, Susie. Oh, bye, Susie. Susie's leaving. Bye. <laughs> we'll miss you, though, Susie. We'll miss you. Hey, what's up, Eddie? Welcome to the conversation. We're having I know, the live I know chats. the new movie is the same thing, but with less Brendan. Not, Not watching. watching. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I think they're they're gonna be good episodes, and there's gonna be good movies, and like oh, the Dark absolutely. Universe, like I'm looking forward to. Like you say, he's talking about the Dark. Uh, which one is he's talking about? Is the uh, universe with the Mummy, mummy and Frankenstein, and, Frankenstein and, and then stuff. you have the Universal Monsters uh, universe, which I think is King Kong, King Kong Godzilla, Godzilla, Mothra, Mothra etc. And, and so we just get the problem is we're talking about like four franchises at the same time, guys, and that's that's all right. I love it. I'm gonna right. cry, Susie. <laughs> oh, Susie, and she's gone. Now for the evil plans. <laughs> Just kidding. So, you know, we there's a lot of movies coming out that. What are some other movies we know that, or games that are coming out that you guys are excited for? Yeah, what are uh, some more movies coming out? I mean, we saw some Batman and Harley Quinn trailer today. Yeah, that came out. Looked looked alright. The, the animated universe, to be honest, never really disappoints that much. I don't know. There's some there's that are some really that are just they like never high disappoint. Velocity. Yeah, there's some it, that are really good, and then there are some, some that are that passable. Are, that are good. But but not great. Right. Like, you'll get nines and then you'll get sixes or sevens. 
Like there's, there's very never many like that are, under five or no. Just, I've never there's um, never any that are just so god awful. What do Tekken you think of the Seven, Dark? Yes. Dark Tower. Yes, I'm so excited. If anybody has ever read those books, uh, so good, such a great silly, trilogy. New Not Far trilogy, Cry. like a yes. septology New or whatever. Fi- How many New seven Far Cry looks seven awesome. books? I believe if that's right, Nicholas. Uh, Donald Glover bringing his animated Miles Morales and Deadpool. Any more? Any more news on that? No, oh, no where new is news. That? I didn't even. You didn't get know that about comic? That? No, I didn't. I didn't get that comment. Oh, the comment. Yeah, they're all just coming up. DC is so much better than Marvel for animated. Right? I can't yeah, deny they do their work. They better. do really good. That's that's really undeniable. Good. Just they like it's some good Marvel have, ones, though. I mean, Marvel does fine. They just don't do it as well. No, it's like I said, DC does okay on movies, but Marvel, Marvel does it much better. Yeah, undeniably by the stats. Let's hope that Justice releases. League though puts them in a decent capacity to do great movies. I really hope they're going to expand their movie universe, and I hope Marvel expands its and let's get Flash universe. fixed Here's up. Something though, here's yeah, there is something though is that uh, Marvel does do a lot uh, overseas with their universes. They have a lot Very of Japanese true. universes. Like, there's a whole Japanese only Marvel series uh, that's in anime. Uh, same for a lot of DC. Very true, man. But they, they, they do a lot. They do a lot of work. So does DC. More for little kids, Marvel animated. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. Very much so. Very juvenile. I like the Doctor Strange and Iron Man animated features. They were good. They were a little more adult, but they were just. They're just not quite as professionally done and as interconnected as, as the, the DC, DC ones. universe They're ones. So yeah. prof- the DC just do so theirs a well, little better. So well told well, and, and well done. They do they do theirs a little better and they do so much more that it's hard to yeah, ignore. I, I like I the like anime Marvel Wolverine. That one was pretty decent. Ooh, yeah, I like I'll them to too. Check that one out. There's so much. The Gunslinger also, or the Dark Tower did look good. I can't wait to see, uh, you know, uh, Idris Elba, right? What? <laughs> I think that's his name. I don't know. You'll have to read the book. Good. They are more individual. Oh, I saw the Japanese Marvel true. stuff, and it's really good. It is really good. They do a good job, but it's all Japanese. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, you got to go piece. deal with that. And I've read it, and it's really good stuff. It's just, you know, that's up to you guys. If Wonder Woman ends up similar to Suicide Squad and BBS, I'd probably quit on the franchise. Yeah, like, we just hope that it doesn't end up that way, though, because Wonder Woman looks like it's going to be so good. Like, I mean, at least from the trailers and stuff, but... There haven't there hasn't been bad talks about it yet. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen a bad review. I've actually heard really good things about Wonder Woman so very, far. Very, very good things. I mean, a lot the, of the reviews have been looking uh, really good on it so far. Suicide really animes. broke my love. <laughs> Did you see Suicide Squad? I have seen it now. Yeah, so it was all right. It's just like it's again. Why am I? It was like Guardians, but then it wasn't as endearing for the characters because there were more of them and they had less endearing qualities and they had less endearing oh, time. Man, Enchantress sucked. That too. The villain was Jeez, not. Jeez, it was like, what? What's up with this villain? But it has seven different Woman cuts. Uh, I felt this way about Suicide Squad at first. I was beyond hyped. Same for BBS. Yeah, and the thing hope. is, I don't get hyped for movies anymore because I can't of that. for these, at least. I don't get for almost anything. Not hyped, hyped. Like, Marvel movies, I let myself a lot of the time because I know they're going to deliver. I'm hyped for Spider-Man. Right, beyond. because it's Marvel involved. If it was a Sony, Mar- if well. it was a Sony Spider-Man, yeah. would you be as hyped? Or would you be worried? A little bit worried. That's what I thought. <laughs> and so that's, I don't, I try not to get worried or hyped. I just go into the movie and like, I don't expect anything either. I don't expect him to follow the comic book anymore. It made me a million times happier. It had seven different cuts. Jeez. Yeah. The plot not... was so terrible for Suicide. Yeah. There was just no cohesiveness to that movie at all. It was like, it, it was together. all over the place. The it plot, was just piece. Like I said, it, it together. And, and it's still, why did it get so many sales? Because it has so much hype from the DC crowd fan base and from all comic book <sighs> fan base. Yeah. And it's not even that great. It was the same Suicide, thing that happened with Batman versus Superman. Suicide so was a hype. B quality of Guardians. Yeah. Seriously. It's like a B movie Yeah. Version. You can't. Yeah, it was definitely the BBS B version was of it. super, super hype. That was the downfall. Yeah, it had been hype for years before it came out. We Well, and the problem, and here's the other problem with certain titles. Suicide Squad not being one of them, but BVS being certainly one of them. <sighs> the With a title that big and important, they wanted to, you had to make it awesome, amazing, astounding. One of the best films ever made for superheroes. It was not that. It sold like that because, you know, everyone wanted to go see it and see... Bad members, but I was personally disappointed. I think Bat- BVS became a cult classic, to be honest. What? Uh, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like BVS. Yeah. 
freaking dialogue all the movie. ultimate cut being the redeemer uh, as according to leo and some other but even uh, then no no I, I didn't say it was a redeemer i said it made it a little bit better that's true fair enough but st- even I still like it it's cult classic i don't know what would that. you give the ultimate version then out of a 10 what would you give I the, gave the original i was like a six and then i would give the ultimate version a six and a half seven yeah that maybe. sounds that sounds about right, at least for the regular version for me. Six so is about bad, right. they messed up BBS. They had good material from Dark Knight Comics and messed up. The thing is, they even almost followed the story exactly. They just did... The, they, the problem is they keep making these super dark, brooding movies that... Yeah, they're super dark and brooding and serious, but there's no comedy a lot of the time. Ugh. We're not getting a lot of endearment towards the no, characters. We're not. Like, it's just how like do dark I relate to these? The whole time. Not, not just that. So then, how do I relate to these, these characters, characters that are just and like out of ordinary so far? Uh, what DC story would you love to watch as an A list? A freaking Green Lantern, man. A good Green Lantern. A good Green Lantern. A good Flash. A good movie. Flash. A, re- um, a good redo of the movie. The, the, the ideas are fine. They just have not been executing. God, like, that original Green Lantern was garbage, man. The the movie? Like, they have Hal Green Jordan. And so the, Justice League, I'm oh. hoping, is their big redeemer. I'm hoping Justice League, and it looks like they're pulling a lot from Marvel. They're pulling in the comedy. They're yeah, pulling in the, the endearment. Batman and Aquaman snippet. Yeah, you know, would it kill like... Zack Snyder to use natural lighting? Yeah, that's the other thing. Or even just natural <laughs> settings. Setting if you didn't too. see how much green screen they use in those movies oh jesus so much they should have just copy and pasted pasted the the animated movie (laughs) like the movies felt nasty the thing is like i said they they just they're they need to be done so well for those kind of titles batman and superman are not titles iron man was someone you could go at with a kind of disposition of well if we fuck up iron man we fuck up whatever yeah but they did it very well batman and superman are major though and they've done Batman so good. A Green Lantern. A good Green a Lantern. Good Seriously, Green that's Lantern, what we though. want. That's really... A I, good Green Lantern. I want Hal Jordan. I do. And I unfortunately, we talked about this before, Ryan Reynolds is not Hal Jordan. He's not. He's Deadpool. He's Deadpool. He's perfect He's for Deadpool. Great. He is a great Deadpool. Made for Deadpool. Uh, I would love to see a Hal Jordan in the Green Lanterns movie, though, and oh. have Jon Stewart appear in it. Have all the green. Have all the green. I don't know the problem, is, and that's the other problem we have with it is how do you develop these universes and these characters? Because isn't this lines? one coming up the Green Lantern Corpse? I don't even know. I think it's the Green Lantern Corpse. I think it is. I still think Bat Batfleck is, is the, the best. best. Same. Eh. I haven't seen enough Batfleck. I want to see a solo film, and then I'll determine. Yeah, let me see his solo film, and then I'll tell you. But why, if he's best. And why do you guys think that? He's not a bad Batman. He's not like, bad. I no. think he's a fine he's Batman. A Batman. I don't know if he's my favorite Batman because I Your haven't seen him. Favorite movie Batman, though? Favorite movie Batman? Probably Vale. But just because I think he's the most accurate depiction of the material source yeah he's the most accurate dark knight batman yeah and and even in terms of like some of the other whereas the original for example one of my other ones would be adam west because adam (sighs) west is the perfect 60s batman oh my god adam west is amazing man he is the perfect (laughs) 60s batman from when batman was goofy heard batman movie is falling apart bale is a cinematic batman and like i said he's batman he's, is falling he, apart flash is falling apart like her batman they gotta yeah. scrap it up the thing is together. you can only do movies for so long and reboot them for so long batman being the only exception apparently and superman to a point bale is but a cinematic batman good, Bat i think he's the perfect bold. combo of movie and comic like i said i need first of all the source material i'm not sure about where what batman they're pulling New 52, yeah, pre, pre crisis, crisis or whatever. What, what Batman we're using, the Dark Knight, you know. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen him enough. He doesn't have his well, own movie. Is DCEU yet. an original universe, though? Maybe this is a, bat, a they, Batman. And, it, of their and own if creation. so, and if so, I also wonder because this Batman is far more likely to kill in very oh, many yeah. of the situations. He's running people seen. over and capping. Um, so I don't know if I like him as the best combo. Because Bat Batman's Flight, not cool. supposed to kill people, man. That's really one of his hardline points. Although original Batman did, but yeah. but eh, I mean original original comics drop people. people off buildings. Yeah, stuff, and so. yeah, let people die a lot of times. Like I said, the, I'm not discouraging Batfleck. He's a fine because actor, Robin but I need more died. Batfleck. Where's oh, my man. Where's my Batfleck movie? What happened to the Batfleck movie? I want a Batfleck movie. What up, Sam? I, I didn't say I yeah, don't want, a, do Batfleck want a Batfleck movie, Batfleck movie. But I want to see what he does with that. What That's does he why do? That's why he's killing. Who would you like to see as Hal Jordan? Uh, 
Which even would be more belabored because in the comic books, even when Robin dies, Batman doesn't start killing. No, he doesn't. He doesn't kill the Joker, which is the entire point of Red Hood. <laughs> and then the entire point of Injustice I, is that Superman did and snapped. Yep. I prefer Jon Stewart. I think Affleck is decent considering he hasn't done his own movie. Camille is depressing movie. at soups. He'd be a boring, boring in Justice League for dialogue. I think they just have to write him a little happier. They do. Because he does seem kind of depressing. And I just, think he's just too stalwart. Yeah, he's like, like, he's so disconnected. Like, they made him such this just godlike. Yeah, well, not even just that. Like, he's so godlike pedestaled in this universe as yeah, Superman. There are that people that are, like, hailing him in a scene like this. Really, they're, like, literally like, worshiping. Like, is trying, he a like, god? Or? And it's like, he was... In the comics, Superman was very humble. Humble. Like, he was he like, wasn't I'm like, Superman. Yeah, I, but like, I'm I don't here need to protect to be you. I don't, you know, you know, thank you. Know, I'm just doing my what anybody else would do. But let's see. Nick asks who would, he, who I, would you I like definitely to see as Hal that. Jordan. Uh, I don't know. He is honest. definitely a Christ-like figure uh, in this one, which I don't like. I don't like because, the Christ-like figure. Be, because the only time he's ever like that is like an injustice or when he's Snyder like being manipulated like by... That. Or Superboy Prime thinks he's a Christ-like figure. That's the only time where... And it seems like he's cool with it in this one. Well, I think it seems like in the ones he's more struggling with it. Yeah. But he's just acquiescent. So to... But like I said, Superman was always very adamant about being human and being an Earth person. You know what I mean? Snyder made him look just just some decent banter humor. Like even like cool. even if like he just broke his Star Wars guys and smirked and was chuckled like something like that yeah, to a flash be joke, great. something like that. Like you something could do it to get so him ways. out of this stoic. But like he's more, st he's almost as stoic as Batman in these. Yeah, you know he's I mean? just like so serious. Like I'm like Soup's is very Soup's jokes in battle often. Yeah, that's he's lighthearted, dude. But maybe that's not DCEU soups, obviously. And maybe that's why I don't like it is because I'm so attached to comic book soups. Yeah, and he's a great character. I mean, I, I know a lot of people hate on soups, but he has a good personality. I thought they did good on the second movie. The second movie, Man of Steel, was pretty good. It was compared to the first one. Or the other one from... Uh, you know the one I'm talking about with the freaking... Uh, this is the best Superman movie so far, undeniably. Yeah. But I was just like, ah, I thought it could have been a little bit better. Like I said, I think we're spoiled sometimes by the really good movies. Krypton looks like it's going to be awesome. Some though. deadpan human wouldn't be wrong. Ooh, Krypton would be, is going to be gonna be good. freaking awesome. Have you but, guys seen but the, the thing is, everyone's going to watch it, and I don't think they're going to understand that that's going to be, should be a political show, because they're not supposed to have powers on Krypton. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> no one thinks about that. They good have no point. powers on Krypton unless they change this. Now they might have super tech. And like then that'll help. <laughs> I didn't like Brandon Ruth as soups. Agreed. Agreed. No, no. Was not my soups. Not my Superman. <laughs> not my Captain America. <laughs> oh God. Hi, yeah, don't Cap even get me started. Oh. It's weird because Bale was good, but I don't see him doing well in a jail setting half like his. I uh I agree. Dark Knight, Superman does not... I don't know, know about Affleck, though. I agree that I don't see Bale doing good in the setting, but I don't see how Affleck's kill first Batman is, is going to do... Is go, doing that good. I mean, I was just like, that's my way. only... I think that's my only thing is, like, he's going around killing people so willingly. Like, I don't like, think... He I was think... ready to kill Supes, and that was the big one for me. It's like, Yeah, I was like, come on, man. He was about to stab him with the freaking... It, uh, well, and then Mar the whole Martha thing. We've gone over oh, how so gosh. bad writing that is. That's is such like... bad writing. Do you really fail safe to the mom? I was and like, the one word mom Martha. thing. Like, there wasn't even a, like, oh, Superman's like, mom Martha. died recently. Right. Or, or why did he even, why blah, blah, blah. Superman not even just fly over and like, Batman, we need to work together. Like, he's going to kill my mom. Why didn't he just say that? There was, could have been anything. Like, there was no... I felt like there was enough prep. He could have been doing surveillance on soups for... Like Batman should have been doing and August. realizing that Soup's, you know, isn't such a bad guy, or even if he is, that he could confront him and not like just get blasted out of the sky. Yeah, and it seemed like it just, I don't know, he was so antagonistic against Soup's. And I'm good, like, I needed Soup's to die. I'm fine with Soup's dying, and the way he died was fine. It's good, yeah. yeah. Spoilers, I guess, but, but like I said, the whole Batman <laughs> killing Soup's, totally different story. Batman would never kill Superman, ever. Batman would ever. never kill anyone, ever. Batman ever. actively avoids killing anybody at any cost. <laughs> oh my god, that Martha scene makes me so mad. Yeah, it pisses us all off, Nick. It's just bad, terrible, terrible writing. What, what name, name did it say? Martha. It's like Dark Side down on the ground. Ugh, Martha. Wait. <laughs> like, What's up, Adam? 
Right. <laughs> Uh, Martha. He oh, could have and should have. Lazy uh, no. writing. Very no. lazy writing. He could have and should have. That would be entirely against everything Batman has ever been against. I don't agree with that at all. I, I, I will totally be like, no. Oh, are we talking about Batfleck? Or, like, yeah, he's killing people willingly. Why was he ever going to kill Batman? That should never been. The whole kryptonite gas thing should have been enough. Kryptonite gas him into has submission. Real, yeah, has gassed him into submission a lot. Yeah, like, I mean, it is like I said, the show that, all the time. I, I'm fine of being a Superman hater, but that, that you might as well be a Batman hater. I'm if you're a gonna Superman compromise hater, his whole, guys. <laughs> if you're gonna compromise his whole character. He might as well, you know, like I said, the whole. I just, I'm like, the whole he's principle gonna become... of, of two video games. A two comic book series are based on the fact so that even think, in alternate universes, do you think he's do you think he's killing people now and he's gonna take the vow like at the point of Justice League? I don't know, man. I mean, it's like he's killing people now. I don't know. I'm he's just a saying, Batman lost his faith in him. I'm just saying that's totally that's not Batman. He, that, like, that's how they re- uh, wrote him, and Zack Snyder came fr- uh, forward and said that that that's why they wrote him that way because he's like broken, he's upset. But he wouldn't kill people. Even then, we didn't get enough thing. It's like, oh, but Robin's dead. We didn't get enough exposition from that. We got one scene showing Robin dead. Even if that... It was the suit. <laughs> it said, all right, and then exposition from that. We got it. the suit. We don't have any definitive link between the suit and Superman to give him motive to kill Superman. Never stated. So much uh, that I have to inference for myself. And then all of a sudden switch by the one name. Seriously? Oh, your mom has the same name as mine. Let me help you out, bro. Let me help you out. Nah, He's a broken hate. Batman. Lost his faith. Thanks in for the love, humanity. Nick. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for being. I uh, I can see the broken Batman thing, but like I said, not enough exposition to explain that. Not enough time explaining why he would do that or build up towards that Batman in the first place. And like I said, even then. All right, so then he kills people. Now he's not Batman. That literally goes against everything Batman's about. I know. I was just like, ugh. That's like, the every time Batman kills, it's usually shown as an evil alternate universe Batman who has taken over the world. Right. That is the Batman who kills or it's people. Been, it's been like Thomas Wayne or... Um, yeah, which... Like I, yeah. I mean, Jason Todd when he's guns blazing as Batman. Like, which, which we can argue... About whether or not they're people, here. they just die because of him. They, um, isn't he like openly running people over at one point? And dude, grabs same gun and mom them? names, besties. If the mom names were different, just by chance, it would get a bit of a good movie. Well, let that sink in. The mom's names. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like I said, there's so much they could have done with it. All right, give him a decent motive. Like I said, make the exposition towards him and the death of Robin solid like oh well that's why we need a movie to fill this void we need something to fill this hole well and then we have the whole i i was so disappointed in what could have been might come up yeah i mean we might even have him in that i would like batman contingency which is fine like and even something like that all right batman has a plan for superman that gets stolen and then used against him by lex luther yeah exactly there's a new flat uh See how much simpler that is? Sucks. Oh, yeah, that also sucked. (sighs) Buff him up, guys. Do it, Hollywood. Give him some steroids or something. Give him some mass. Give him some food. Gosh, get this guy a sandwich. He needs a huge ass glitch. The Batman contingency would be cool, but we have to get into the Justice League for that first. Yeah. It's like, we got to get Justice League through, and then, oh, man, I can't wait for Shazam. That's going to be dope. You know, it's 2019, but. Has anybody heard anything about casting? I only know Black Adam. I don't even know. And I think they're like they're doing his whole thing, but then they have Black Adam doing the movie with Soup, supposedly, in his next movie. Which I mean, I'm know. wondering if he's going to pop up in Justice League. It'd be interesting as, like, maybe, like, a post scene or something. They're, because they're popping up on Instagram together and stuff. I'm right, like, there's a lot. Best together. plot. Best plot, probably, yeah. Reboot the Joker if they're going to do Death in the Family slash Red Hood Ooh, shit. Ooh, that would be interesting. Ooh. And see, that's the thing. Maybe something like Death in the Family would have, I felt like maybe Ooh, that would have broken awesome. be the broken Batman. But we have no indication of that. We have no indication that this Batman has any reason to go the out suit, and murder But that's suits. like, whatever. That that just doesn't justify him murdering suits. The guy who played Hitman would be a pretty good Lex, I think. Yeah. I, I do... Like I said, I'm fine with Batman kicking the crap out of soups because I do think Batman could. And oh, he does a lot, very the, good amount of the time. In the comics, he's the failsafe, you know. Yep. And the other thing being Superman, 
being the biggest piece of shit. Brian Cranston as Lex wouldn't be bad. He's got enough mass. Yeah, just somebody who's got some mass, intimidation. Intimidation. Like, like Lex Luthor is an intimidating, is intimidating guy intelligent. And brooding. Brian Cranston is pretty Very good. I like that guy. pick, Lachlan. That's an awesome pick. Um, who else would we see as Lex? Who else do we want to see for a villain of Superman? Who? That's Brainiac. the other thing. Brainiac. Yeah. You like know who Brainiac. I'd like to see as Brainiac? Who? The Lex Luthor from Smallville. Hmm. I think he Wow, could. that's a good point. Rosenberg, I think, could do... You know who isn't a good Lex? Fucking zombie land kid. I, yeah. yeah. Oh. Gosh, Metallo. Metallo would be a good one. Um... <laughs> yeah, that Lex just is terrible, man. We, Man, they need to clean that up. I said, Soups one. is just so overpowered, it's hard to give him an enemy. Will Ferrell. <laughs> Laugh my ass up. Um... What about Mr. Mitzelplick? Like, 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 like. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Can't say this. <laughs> like, he would be a good one. Lex is 6'2", at least. Two. That's how I feel about Lex, too. Tom Hardy plays every character in DC. <laughs> He's right. He's so right. He's coming to Marvel. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yep. I hope we keep him, too. He's worth having. He's too humorous for the DCEU. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, and that's the thing about the DCE. There's they no need comedy. to lighten up, man. Come on, just a little lighten bit. Up. I'm okay with killing thousands of people. I'm okay with <laughs> the alien invasions. I'm okay with the hero dying. You know what I mean? I'm okay with all that. You know what I'm not okay with? Tell a goddamn joke. Throw right. a pie in the background. <laughs> pan, dead pan humor. Future. Like, have some cool stuff. Like, just... Life is comedy and tragedy. Yeah, tragedy and comedy like you gotta are mix two it sides all together. The it's point. like they they just don't have a good formula going for their movies right now because they're so serious and like I said, and into the point and just Tom Hardy so as New Wonder Woman. Heavy. Yay! <laughs> it's Lex's son, so it's a completely different take on the character. I just still don't even like still, it. yeah. Uh, I, He's not intimidating me. He's just kind of crazy looking weird. Yeah, lots of people die in Marvel, but they don't care. Yeah, they all come back to you. Yeah, quite a bit of them. Quite a bit. That's the thing, too. It's like, oh, people died in Marvel. Shit happens every day. <laughs> people die every day. Oh, dying, oh man, man, can that be the new meme? Should we make that one? It's like, people die in DC. Oh, people die in Marvel. People get shot every day, G. Man, yeah, a lot of the critics too t- uh, say that Batman vs Superman is just a six. Yeah, Wakanda isn't too happy. Maybe Marvel bought rights to humor. Bam, jokes fired. <laughs> Wakanda, I don't know. We'll have to see. I want Wakanda to do well with the Black Panther movie. Yeah, I'm really DC bought rights awesome. to sad. <laughs> Yeah, for real, because DC movies are just depressing. They are, and, and they're very good at it. Don't get me wrong. They're very good at being depressing, but throw in a joke once in a while. Geez. <laughs> Lighten it up a little. I'm thinking that's what will happen in Wonder Woman. You know, They look like they were jokes. Like it's like, some comic look, relief. It's like, oh, how'd you do that? I'm very good with my hands. You know, whatever the yeah. heavy was. I don't remember. It's like, oh, I can do a fair bit of fisticuffs. You know, more some of that. That's all you have to do in the fucking interim. Drop scene. some stuff. Who's that British guy who did the voice of Star Wars? Can't remember his name. He'd be good as Brainiac. British guy who done the voice in Star. What? Did you hear confirmed Static X movie by Josh? I did not hear about that. Wow. Though. I'd love a link if Static you had one, X, Adam. Please, please drop yeah, that. Please link. drop that link so we can. Share I can't it. get through the door. Ha ha. Oh man. You can't get psych. Oh. Dang. Wait a minute. How Wait are you going to hit us with that, excited. Adam? How right, are you going to get man. us all excited? Static X, then, really? No. It's like, oh, sorry. It's just a joke, Nick, man. That's, that's mean. That's mean, Adam. That's mean. <laughs> we got so excited. We're like, Static X! I gotta feel like I just got Rick rolled. Never ne- gonna give you up. Never, never gonna, gonna let you down. down. <laughs> never gonna run around. You bastard. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. not sorry. We were rolling with the two, man. I know, man. What's up with that? Ah, oh, jeez. That's all right. Uh, so we're we're sort of getting to the end of the thing. I guess we didn't really show our prizes again today. Yeah, but they're always going to be in the post, guys. We're always going to include them. We really, just really, there are a couple addresses I need to get from you guys, and some people haven't uh, responded, so we might have to move things around. 
but we're gonna start getting the the males going out so yep. be prepared uh we're gonna get them adam i know i can drop it off to you so I'm definitely gonna meet up very soon get the prizes going out and stuff i never got my comic co yeah i get it to you Oh, man. But, uh, you know, we'll have those prizes for one of our lucky commenters, likers, or sharers. Thank everybody who came through. I know, Static X hype new Rick Roll. <laughs> right. It's definitely. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, we will let you know, uh, as we do at the end of most episodes, that we've started our Patreon account. Yep. Uh, basically to help cover the cost of prizes, as well as other things we'd like to do with Comic Con. you guys, we're going to throw in shout outs. We're going to throw in all kinds of things. By the way, shout out to the people who do contribute to our Patreon currently. Yep. Uh, Susie Marie, Cy Kennedy, and Tyler Lockridge. Big, big thank you to you guys because your contribution is very, very valuable to us. Yep. You thank guys you helped so us for doing get that. the show done yeah. today. You know you what I mean? Helped it, us it really get it did. Done. It might not seem like it, but, but it helped. It helped. And, you know, you help us just motivate us. And we hope you guys have been enjoying, uh, you know, the early access to the posts and stuff, hopefully, as well as the Patreon exclusive posts, which yeah. there should have been one today. And there will be one Sunday. Susie will be so mad she missed the Rick Astley impression. Yeah. I want to hook you guys up with more connections. Yeah, Lachlan, just go ahead and keep messaging me, man. I know we've been talking on Facebook. Let's definitely get together soon. Uh, just have to say one more thing that Samurai Jack is ending. Yeah, I know. It already oh, ended. It ended. It ended. Last episode. It was already the last episode. I know, but it was pretty good. It was sad. It was sad as all. Yeah. But it was a good ending. too much on that one. But, but uh, uh, like I said, oh, the other thing being we released our episode of Spoiler Session yeah, this guys, last week. Uh, Spoiler Session Guardians. just came out for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, be on the lookout for our next one, which will be Alien. We're going to do that one. And then we do have another, a few other ones coming from both myself and you. Yep. Um, we'll definitely keep you guys updated on the spoiler sessions. But yeah, they're going to be videos now. And then uh, for, our, for our Patreons, specifically, obviously, Susie, Sai, and Tyler, there's behind the scenes content. Uh, we'll hopefully be doing a bunch more stuff. Yeah, guys. Um, if you feel the need, if you would like to. Go ahead and contribute to the Patreon. You'll get stuff a lot ahead of the time of others. Yep. Um, and then as a subscriber, you do get a shout out at the beginning and the end of the video. And you do get various other prizes as well. Baywatch was amazing. That's great Lots to guys. hear. You guys should do some guest stars. We are going to end up doing guest stars when we hopefully have a better area. Yeah, we're just trying and, to really get And some we're also still going. establishing. Uh, it's hard for us to invite people to do guest spots, especially depending on the people. Invite. You know, we might get eventually actual guest stars yeah through yeah if we, can we just got we but... just gotta see right guests, now we got guests guess. yeah we'll we'll start looking into guests guys who would you guys like to see if we could get a guest who would we get like just somebody do you guys have anyone oh, mind, I would, yeah or... definitely like maybe like a local or a local has, should anybody we, should we we we've talked should we, about we, giving talk a prize to? as that being a prize for some of our patreons I can hook you be. guys up with some locales too. Yeah, definitely let us know. Lachlan. Definitely, please. We're definitely interested, and we're always trying to do more stuff with this. We appreciate talking to you guys. <laughs> Adam, me as a guest. Adam Johnson is a guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, definitely, guys. But uh, thank you for tuning in this week. Axel, did you have some announcements? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I had a couple things going on with my thing. I've been releasing spoiler uh, seconds as well, the little short ones, the one minute long ones, but. Mm -hmm. More importantly, I got a couple shows coming up, and if you're in, you know, Denver, you can uh, contact me about them either on my webpage or here through Comic Convos or on my page on Facebook. So you know, at Axel Facebook.com slash Axel Grave three hundred three www dot three D Productions Inc dot com. Uh, the shows are opening up for French Tyler, not French Taylor, it's French someone. But French Tyler at the Lost Lake nice, Lounge. Uh, I think that's Sunday, uh, May 11th. And then on Friday, May... Not May, June. June 11th. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Friday, June 23rd, I'll be opening up for Jelly Roll. And I have tickets for all that. If you want to contact me or hit up my website. Drop them on the page, man. Nice. Definitely. Yeah, definitely will. We'll, we'll definitely share them on the page. And, and then uh, recently released a music video and had a show. There's actually a show for one of my friends going right now. One Good, of my group. Nice. I wasn't able to make it, unfortunately, to him and or Flames thing. So if you guys aren't doing anything right now after the cast and are in Denver, you know, you can head to that if you're bored. Uh, they're good prices, good music. Right on, um, man. And then check out our game stuff. We're doing more Injustice streams. and uh, Let me know about those hopefully Injustice working streams. On I would a... love to be a part of them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, man, if only that cross-platform thing, man. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, I gotta have to get me a PS4 here soon anyway. Oh man, I might get this, uh, I might get an Xbox One. We'll have to see about that. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But yeah, guys, keep on following the player blog.com. Local um, I just released a review about aliens. Oh, well, we oh, said, Jake, look, wait, well, what, we'll talk a couple on? more things. So we got maybe a comic writer or artist. This guy, MVP. LA Icons actors. With oh, the wow. Green Arrow artist. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we'd love to do it with all of them. Obviously, a lot of those people, would. Uh, we have to either fly out or have come out and pay them. Or if you know them and obviously can get them to do it, we'll That'd host them. That'd be awesome, them. yeah. We'll absolutely. figure it out. We'll find a place to host <laughs> All them about PS4. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not telling you. Uh, but we could definitely contact some local comic book writers and artists in Colorado. We actually know a couple that we've featured art on. Maybe we'll ask them to come by and do some talks and mm -hmm. stuff. Definitely. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the Thank like for the spamming. Love, Nick's. Thank um, you. And I think... Uh, that'll be our episode. Where well, I, I didn't make, get to make my. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't um, ignore the <laughs> um, the blurredblog.com though. Keep on following that, guys. I'm definitely thinking about redoing it. So if anybody knows a uh, web designer, please hit me up. Um, I'm thinking designer. about actually uh, redoing the webs the web page. <laughs> Could so, even not have you do it. I, mean, I, I do HTML Java. I'm just too lazy to do my own one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know how that gets. That's exactly how I feel. Oh well. But, it, but anyway, yeah. guys, keep on following that. New review of Alien Covenant. Oh, and that's also doing up. movie minutes every single Tuesday, Don't forget which to is my live, live review. Guys, come on through. We'll have a conversation yep. as well about movies. Yep, he does movie reviews and show reviews, right? You've done yep. Gotham and I've Flash. Done Gotham and, uh, and it's it's you it's guys be awesome, awesome, guys. Come Thank on, you so everybody. much, Lajin. You're awesome. Thank uh, you so much, everybody guys. who came through. And uh, we really hope to talk to you guys all next week. Uh, check us out on Patreon to see us every day, or subscribe to the page to get comic memes every day. Every single day, guys. I think today's one was, uh, was it the Hulk one? Yep, the yep. Hulk. Yeah, so if you didn't know, well, maybe I'll spell out the fact real quick. Is yep. the ender, uh, you know, the Hulk, uh, Bruce Banner says that it hurts just being the Hulk, that it makes his skin burn like an unholy green, green fire, fire. <laughs> which is a great description if you've ever had one. Sheesh. Um, so we're going to do our outro plays, guys, uh, and list more of our patrons' names. Yeah, and feel good, and feel free to share the video, guys, um, if you ever would like to contribute at all. I mean, oh, even if and then, even just on a slider scale. We always can... forget to mention this, but in order for us to uh, tag you for your prize if you do win, you, you have, have to like the page. We guys. can't tag you unless you do, and so it's hard for And hard not even for us follow, to too. You have to like that Yeah, you page. can't just follow. You have to actually like it, unfortunately. But we understand video. Thank you guys so much. This has been one of our best episodes so far. We've got tons of comments, tons of comments which is for us is guys. more important Thank than so views. Much. Like the comments and talking, yeah, the to you interactivity, guys so much. You guys, you guys steer the conversation. Uh, it would be the page posting on Comic Convos, which is C O M I C O N V O S. Um, if you check us out, we have like a orange, a yellow and red bursting, bursting banner, banner, basically. <laughs> and uh, we we try to do some memes and stuff every week. We uh. Yeah, we, we keep do the content and fresh, and, and we keep we we're at least updating at least once a day. So yeah, keep awesome. On back. All right, guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you all next week. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.